The standard is the standard. And I'd be dirty if I'm going to change the standard. Let's have a great day. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Sports. I'm your host, Ant Live. Now, a little bit of news that everybody knows is that Julian, Juju Lewis, is headed back to Boulder. Now, he'll be back from June 21st to June 23rd. So he's going to spend a couple of days up there in Boulder, get more familiar with uh, Sh Pat Sherman, Shador Sanders, Coach Prime, and the offensive system that's being ran in Colorado. And that's a great thing. Like I said before, this guy, he can make all the throws. It isn't a throw he can't make. He can read his progressions. He can do it all. He's a once in a generation of talent. Now, he did read class from the class of 2026, where he was the number one overall prospect coming out of high school. And they do that, like I said before, they have him rated as the greatest high school quarterback prospect of all time. But now he's going to be the number two overall prospect in the class of 2025. And in my personal opinion, this guy right here, he's still the number one overall prospect. He's a future number one NFL draft pick easily. Like I said, if you go back and watch some earlier film on this guy, when I did a little film study on him, He's a great thrower. He puts it on the money. He places the ball only where his receivers can get it, and he leads them in certain places where they won't take the big hit. I like his um, intelligence in the pocket. He reminds me, as I said before, he has a back foot throw like Aaron Rodgers. He, ha he has a little capability, a little scramble and run on um, the throw like Patrick Mahomes, and he stands tall in the pocket like Eli Manning. He just reminds me of those three guys. I like everything that I've seen on him on the film. Like I said, if he comes to Colorado, he is going to start a trend of success for the Colorado Buffaloes. He, it's just so point evident why I believe he should come to Colorado because he can go somewhere else, but it will be a learning curve because to be quite honestly, quite uh, frankly clear with everybody who's listening here, Colorado Buffaloes had the best coaching staff in college football they have a nfl coaching tree staff and he can shine bright in that system with coach prime pat sherman and the offensive weapons that he's going to have around him the offensive linemen everybody will flock into colorado once this guy comes it's a wrap i don't really see uh, i see national titles i do see him staying only for three years in colorado because he just likes to start early and there's nothing wrong with that he likes to set records like Pat Sherman and Shador let him know he will have the opportunity to get early playing time. So when he comes and there being the fact that we are the last visit, I think that's going to seal the deal. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new. And I am out.